Congratulations on installing Type Rocket. Your next step is to create what we want to call the override folders. Now these override folders will keep you from losing your edits when you make changes such as creating controllers, models, or updating your configuration file. You get these override folders from the Type Rocket plugin within the plugins folder here under the Type Rocket folder. So if we go here, the override folders that we care about are app, config, resources, routes, and storage. All these other folders and files are not important to us. These are the override folders. Now, the reason that we need to grab these is because if we were to make changes to anything within them and then Type Rocket, the plugin itself, gets updated, any changes that we made to those files will get overridden. And that could be frustrating. It's happened to me before. So we want to copy these files and really these folders, they're not files, into a theme. Now, our theme that we're going to be looking at is just demo here. It's a copy of 2019. And here I've pasted them in, okay? We have app, config, resources, routes, and storage. If you're using the free plugin version of Type Rocket and not Pro, then you'll need to jump over to the GitHub repository and locate this resources folder. The plugin will not have this resources folder. So you'll want to copy the app, config, route, storage, and resources from this repository instead of the plugin. If you're using Pro, then you can absolutely copy them from the plugin. It's actually a lot easier to do it that way. So once you've done that, you'll see your particular files for your installation. If you're using Pro and you've copied it from the plugin, then you'll have access to your additional configuration files like mail, rapid, uh, logging, etc. So once we have all of this in place, our override folders will begin to work for us. And when we create our, say, controllers or models, they'll now be put away in a nice safe place that we can version control and not worry about auto updating, breaking anything. Also, Type Rocket's smart enough to know that you put these override folders into a theme. So it will stop looking for the files and configuration inside this Type Rocket uh, folder from the plugin once you do this. However, if you were to put these override folders anywhere else, then you need to tell WordPress where those files are. And you can read more about that in the documentation. However, it is recommended that you put these override folders into a theme when you have a plugin installation of Type Rocket. One extra little tidbit, once you have these configuration and override folders in place, you may want to use the Galaxy CLI tool. Now, this is just a tool that Type Rocket has to make it easy to create some files and folders without having to manually write any code. So again, you don't have to use the CLI tool, but it is quite helpful if you want to move quickly in the uh, application development process. So we can grab the CLI tool down in this Type Rocket folder and copy this Galaxy file, and that is our CLI script that we'll need. I like to put it inside the root of my site just outside of the web accessible folder. So for me, this is the WordPress folder. However, for you, it might be the WordPress folder itself. It just depends on how you set it up. Once you have this Galaxy file put in place, you'll need to create a Galaxy-config file. And Galaxy, unlike WordPress, is not smart enough to figure out where your custom configurations are So, in these override folders. So you're going to need to edit this config file, as you can see here, to update a few variables and constants for Type Rocket to get loaded properly. So when you use the Galaxy CLI tool to create, say, models or controllers, it will put them into the overrides folder and not into the Type Rocket uh, folder. So to demonstrate this, I'm just gonna comment this out real quick. And let's do PHP Galaxy make model post Kevin. Okay, so we're just gonna create a tool here and we'll actually see that we have an error, okay? So it says uh, this init file can't be found and you know, if we look at sites tr tut dot x, which is sort of our folder here, we'll see that that's not located and this is because we have not configured uh, type rocket yet or the galaxy yet. So I'm gonna uncomment all of this code save it, and then if I clear out the console and rerun this, we'll see that the model was created. 
Now, if I run over to the theme demo app and go to models, we'll see I have this Kevin model created. So how did this happen? What are the variables that we need to care about here? Well, if we look at the config file, we can check that out. And I'll talk about how this should be set up. And your installation paths will be a little bit different, but the core concepts are the same for you and for me. Now, the first core concept is that we want to create two basic variables. Now, these variable names are not important. They're really just for the config file itself. The first is the type rocket location, and the second is where your overrides are located. Now, type rocket for me is located under this WordPress directory, but for you, it might be different. And the key here is that we want to point over to the type rocket folder within the actual plugin file. So we want that path to be correct. Next, we want the override folders uh, or this override variable to point to the folder where the overrides live. Okay, so for us, that was the demo theme in this example, but for you, it might be somewhere else where these override folders exist. So once we have these two variables set up, we can begin to fill out these constants. The first being the Galaxy path, and that just needs to be the path to type rocket. Next, we need to tell the Galaxy CLI tool or script where our config is located. So type rocket core config path should be set to the overrides folder and then to the actual folder name of the config. Next, we want the app root path to be specified. This will be overrides. We also want the alt path to be overrides. And then we also need to let type rocket know where WordPress root is located. So we're going to do a type rocket root WP. And then this is the WordPress folder because this is where WordPress is located for this installation. Once we have all of these variables set up, you should be good to go with using the CLI command in conjunction with your override folders. Now, with all of this in place, you're ready to get started coding some type rocket. Enjoy, and we'll see you in the next one.